just 48 hours after the arrest of Simeon Ekma, another separatist has took over Simeon Ekpa's position to declare Biafran independence. Let's see who took over this Simeon Ekpa's position. A few hours after Finnish authorities arrested Simeon Ekpa, the self-proclaimed prime minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile. A loyal follower has reaffirmed that plans to declare Biafran's independence will proceed uninterrupted. The arrest of Simeon Ekpa, which has drawn international attention appears to have intensified rather than deterred the controversy sessions movement. Simeon Ekba, who had earlier announced a fundraising event scheduled for 23rd November to prepare for a proposed 2nd December declaration of Biafra independence remains a polarizing figure. Despite his detainment, one of Simeon Ekpa's supporters claimed that the Finnish government only invites Simeon Ekpa for questioning and did not formally arrest him. In a post shared on social media, he insisted, we need money now more than ever. The conviction is a days to go. Don't miss these fundraisers. Another Simeon Ekpa loyalist, Akpara Wa Sonny, further asserted that Simeon Ekpa's arrest presented an opportunity to present Biafra's case for independence to Finnish authorities. This claim has sparked debates about whether the arrest could indeed be used as a platform to amplify the secessionist cause internationally. Meanwhile, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the leadership of Mazi Shika Edozier has once again distanced itself from groups claiming affiliation with the movement. In a series of statements, Edozier emphasized that the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, remains a unified organization focused on its quest for Biafra's self-determination. Recall, on the 7th November 2024, the indigenous people of Biafra, HIPOP's Directorate of States, reiterated on their official S handle that the movement has no ties to any political faction. Particularly, the recently emerging of the indigenous people of Biafra hyper political wing, Edusian labeled the as 
a creation of the Nigerian Department of State Service, DSS, allegedly designed to undermine and divide the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP rank. A dossier accused the Nigerian government of deploying infiltration tactics to weaken the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP's resolve, describing the country's political system as discredited and fundamentally structured to suppress the Brafran community. In a follow-up note, on the 21st November 2024, he urged the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, members and supporters to remain vigilant against such divisive tactics by the government of Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra movement has resisted every effort to infiltrate, to infiltrate its inner circles and the Nigerian government attempt to sabotage the quest for Biafran freedom will fail, he assured. So Simeon Ekpa's arrest has reignited global attention on the Biafran independence movement. Why some view why some view the arrest as a significant blow to the Biafran Republic. Others see it as a potential stepping stone for the group to further its international advocacy. The tension surrounding Biafra's self-determination highlights the complexities of the movement and the enduring challenges in Nigeria's socio-political landscape. So guys, how do you see to this matter? Kindly drop your comment, your views on the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.